Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to implement a tooltip. A tooltip provides essentially text labels that help explain any other sort of widget that you want to implement inside of it. Honestly, it is really simple. So, if I add a tooltip like so, tooltip, the only required thing is a message at least to get it compiling, but technically, you need more than that. We're going to cover that in a second. So, if I put in here, this is a tool tip and I save that let's see what we get it's empty we don't get anything that's because even though it will compile you need to add a chart there are other properties like the height the padding I want to experiment with the other properties yourself and I'm going to provide the link to the official documentation so you can take a look at all of that but the chart is what we're interested in here so this is any sort of widget I'm going to keep it simple and add a text item if I would say click me you click it nothing happens because it's a piece of text but to activate a tooltip if we hold it so I hold the mouse down a tooltip comes up saying this is the tooltip which disappears so if I keep press again and I click off it, it will disappear a lot faster compared to me just waiting. It will disappear, but it just takes a little bit longer. That's really all there is to, you know, tool tips. Here you can implement whatever child you want, whatever widget you want as an extra task I want you to implement. Let's have a look. I think an icon button would be cool and because that way an icon button doesn't have any text this is a great way of providing some extra information about what that button does without having it always on the screen that's it for the tool tip video if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video